this building is unique. Uh, so we're, we're trying to preserve as much material as possible. A lot of the nails will be reused. Uh, that's, you know, that's something you don't generally do. You usually use new fasteners, and we're certainly using new fasteners in areas, but a lot of the nails are perfectly serviceable, and they are um, interesting in of themselves. Just the, the, the manufacture of things like nails uh, is absolutely incredible, what they had to do to make nails in 1801. This is a handmade flooring nail that dates to the origin of the building, 1801. And this is a trim nail made at the same time. It's made exactly the same way. This large nail may have taken 50 to 75 blows with a hammer to make one nail by a blacksmith. And the process of getting the iron before the blacksmith even got it is unbelievable. They literally took rocks from acid bogs out in the western part of the state and melted them in forges and would skim the molten rock away from the iron because they're different specific gravity so that the rock would actually float to the surface in a pool of molten rock. And they could skim away most of the rock, leaving just the iron ingot in a hole in the ground. And then that would be further purified simply by pounding it thousands, tens of thousands of times compresses the iron molecules closer together, driving more and more of the rock to the surface. All of that before the blacksmith even got the ingot and would then draw it out and hammer it into these nails. In this house alone, there are at least hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of nails in this one building, and each one of them was made like that. And that in of itself is quite amazing. This nail was what was holding down uh, flooring planks, and we will put all the floors back down with these nails. We'll straighten them on an anvil and actually reuse all of them so that they stay with the building, basically. They hold amazingly well. These things are so hard to pull out, it's just unbelievable. They're so much harder than round nails to pull out of wood that it's just astounding. Um, it's not easy to get this stuff apart. They didn't build it with the intention of somebody taking it apart. And it's not easy to take apart without damaging things. I mean, you can rip anything apart and destroy it, but trying to get all of the wood components separated from one another without destroying them is quite, quite the challenge on this project.